Hi, I'm John Grisham, still hiding in the garage, still dodging the virus, still safe and healthy, and I hope you are too. My book club question of the day comes from a book club in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, it's been my experience that most book clubs do not have names. This one is called the Cupcake Club. These ladies met about 10 years ago at school, and they were baking goodies for a bake sale to raise money, and they started talking about books, and one thing led to another. They formed a book club, and they meet once a month, and she, I did not get all the names of the ladies, but the letter came from the president or leader or whatever, Mrs. Dorothy Watson, and the question is this. Uh, after writing so many novels, why did you choose to write a book of nonfiction, The Innocent Man? Uh, I, I did not plan to write nonfiction. I'm not a journalist, I'm not a reporter, and I had never thought about it until I got inspired um, with the story of Ron Williamson, the, the man who was wrongfully convicted in Oklahoma in 1987. In 1999, Ron died after being, um, I'm sorry, 2004 Ron died after being exonerated in 1999. It took him five years to, uh, to drink himself to death. Uh, but Ron died, and his obituary uh, was published in the New York Times, and I saw it. And I was captivated with his story. It's a fantastic story. And so I went to Oklahoma and began investigating, digging, and researching the book. Uh, the, more I, the deeper I dug, the more I learned, and the more fascinating the story became. It took 18 months to research and write The Innocent Man. Normally, I do a novel in six months. So it was far more work than I planned to do. I don't plan to do nonfiction again, but I am captivated by wrongful convictions. It's a cause I care deeply about, and I can see the day, one day, when I do another nonfiction book about wrongful convictions. So, great question. Thank you for writing. Uh, if you have a book club and you want to send me a question, I'll be happy to uh, answer it with a short video from the garage. John Grisham, y'all be safe. See you.